Uh, we have a lot of Next.js on the product, uh, but you know, lately we've been having a little uh, too many revalidation issues. So you know, there's some optimization stuff that Next.js like just ends up being a little more expensive. You know, in, in, on some use cases. So um, you know, right now uh, MongoDB and Firebase on the back end, Next.js, SvelteKit on the front end is more where we're most of the product you're seeing. I mean, also just being more API driven is uh, generally smart. You know, I want to bring more data in the platform. So stock prices, crypto coin prices, curating stories around the web, we're leveraging a lot of different APIs to dynamically bring in data and mix data with all the stories we have. So um, I guess also, I mean, I've been having fun with some of the AI tools. It's pretty cool that you can go from like a prompt to like HTML and CSS and you're passing off like, much more closely to a fully functioning idea. So just playing with all the different input outputs, like the AI music makers are really fun, where you're really not giving it much and it's coming out with something original. But um, my day-to-day -day is also a lot of Notion. We build our own kind of product management card system within Notion. So I'm, I'm in there a lot. And I mean, Slack is just, uh, not, I don't know if you necessarily call it a product tool, but all those discussions are necessary. And so Slack is where I'm, I'm hosting a lot of those discussions to hash out what we want to build, not build, and fix.